Welcome everybody to Quick Romanian. You can find us as always on the Quick Romanian YouTube channel. In this lesson you learn more about the parts of the sentence. Therefore, you will manage to identify the subject, the predicate, the objects and the complements. So, let's start with the very basics of the subject. Like in English, the subject is what or whom the sentence is all about. So, it can be a noun, like in, for instance, mașina e albă, mașina e albă, the car is white. It can be a pronoun, el e student, el e student, he's a student. And you can have a simple subject, as in mașina e albă, mașina e albă, a compound subject, as in ea și el sunt studenți, ea și el sunt studenți, și and he are students, even, even though in English you can just say they are students, or in Romanian you can have, you can say ye sunt students and we have another one uh, as well like in like in English is rather understood than expressed vino vino which means come like you come here all right let's move on to the predicate the predicate like in English and in, in so many languages, tells something about the subject. So, we can have a verbal predicate which uses one verb to express the action of the subject. El studiază. El studiază. He's studying. And we can have a nominal predicate which gives the subject an identity or a feature for that matter. And we can have ei sunt students, ei sunt students, their students, which gives a sort of identity to to the, the, the subject. And we can have another example, ei sunt intelligents, ei sunt intelligents, they are intelligent which gives a feature to the subject. Next, the very basics of the direct object. The direct object completes the verb's meaning. It can be a noun, a pronoun or a noun equivalent. And it usually answers the questions what and whom. Let's have a few examples. El bea chai Diminata. El bea chai diminata. He drinks tea in the morning. What does he drink? Well, he drinks chai. Tea. Nu l-am văzut azi. Nu l-am văzut azi. I, I haven't seen him today. Well, the L, this, this little L you can see is a shortened version of, of the pronoun him, el, and it answers the question whom. And let's have another example with a noun equivalent, dămi doa, dămi doa, give me two, as in dămi doa sticle de vin, give me two bottles of wine. Um, and again, it answers uh, the question what. The indirect object can be also noun, pronoun, or noun equivalent, but in contrast to the direct object, it answers the questions to whom, to what, for whom, for what, etc. Let's have a few examples. Iam dat lui mașina. I-am dat lui mașina. I gave him the car. To whom? Lui. Him. 
Let's have another example with a noun. Jantele dau mașinii un alt aspect. Jantele dau mașinii un alt aspect. The wheels or the rims give the car a different look. To what? Mașinii. The car. Am bani pentru două. Am bani pentru două. I have money for two. This is a numeral, okay? And it substitutes something like an item or I have I have money for two bottles of wine, I have money for three beers. And pentu means four. Pen to pentu four. The subject complement brings up information about the subject or it can simply describe it. Let's have a first example with a noun. El este student. El este student. He's a student. Student is the sort of identity of el, of him. So it brings up some information, right? Let's have another example with an adjective. Ea este deșteaptă. Ea este deșteaptă. She is smart. Deșteaptă or smart is an obvious description of the subject of ea, of she. Let's have a third example with a pronoun. Alegerea este a ta. Alegerea este a ta. The choice is yours. It gives this uh, this choice, the alegerea, and sort of identity. I know whose choice is that. So, the choice is ata. The choice is yours. And the fourth example with a verb. Bani sunt de cheltuit. Bani sunt de cheltuit. The money is for spending. What kind of money? For spending. The object complement, as we can understand from its very name, brings up information about the object or it can simply describe it. Let's have a first example with a noun. El bea ceai cu zahăr. El bea ceai cu zahăr. He drinks tea with sugar. What kind of chai? What kind of tea? With sugar. Cu zahăr. Let's have a, a second example with an adjective. Ea e o fată simpatică. Ea e o fată simpatică. She's a cute girl. What kind of girl? How, how is the object? Fată is simpatică. Is cute. It's an obvious description. Let's have a third example with the pronoun. Știu opinia ta. Știu opinia ta. I know your opinion. Whose opinion? Ta, yours. It, it, it gives um, a sort of identity to the opinion, to opinia, which is uh, uh, the object of the verb știu, I know. And let's have a fourth example with uh, a verb. Am bani de cheltuit. Am bani de cheltuit. I have money to spend. What kind of money? To spend what kind of bani they kill to eat it gives uh, it gives a description the description of the money of the object of the the verb am um, which is I have well that's it for the second lesson and let me stress the fact that these lessons are designed in such a way <clears throat> as to show you the basics of the Romanian grammar which is really really complicated and very hard to grasp even by the, the native speakers so stick with us and in the following lessons you learn a little bit more about the parts of speech in order to, to better understand these uh, this couple of uh, lessons 
which you should uh, go back to whenever you feel the need to, to check the type of uh, various parts of the sentence and their place within the sentence. So stick with us and uh, see you next time.